good afternoon. It is Sunday, June 19th, 2022. Uh, today's presentation is entitled The War on Ignorance. A great quote by Brendan Kennelly says, if you want to serve your age, betray it. What does that mean? It simply means that at any given period in time, there will be huge moral shortcomings um, within the population Accepted practices, rituals, prevailing worldviews will be wrong, bad, harmful, and that a few people will betray that and say, no, it's wrong. Um, ignorance is not lack of IQ. IQ is part of intelligence. Being emotionally aware is part of intelligence. Being spiritually aware is part of intelligence. However, the fact that most people now are emotionally disconnected, they're not emotionally intelligent, so they have no chance of actually being spiritually aware because they're not even emotionally aware. It's pretty bad. So, if you want to serve your age, betray it. I love it. Ignorance comes from the Latin ignaris, meaning unaware, not knowing, refusal to be aware of, refusal to take notice of. In other words, it, the information might be available, but said being says, I'm not going to avail myself of that. It might go against what I think or what I believe what I've been taught to believe very dangerous things. The ignorance isn't an excuse in 2022 because there's too much information available. It's so easy to get whatever you need. You can find out whatever you want to know about whatever you want to know about. Hell, I'm learning about nuclear radiation and reactors on MIT online for free. So ignorance is an excuse. Um, if I drop a sledgehammer on my bare foot, I'm standing on concrete and bare feet and I drop a sledgehammer from three feet up on my bare foot, that's a stupid thing to do because I'm not ignorant of the fact that it's going to hurt. It's probably going to put me in the hospital. At the very least, it's going to hurt really bad. So I'm not ignorant of the fact that that's going to hurt. That's a good thing that I'm not ignorant of that fact. Gravity has its effects, or the theory of gravity has its effects. And they're painful sometimes. But I am ignorant of how to speak Russian. I don't know how to speak the Russian language. That's fine. I'm not going to be in Moscow tomorrow. Pretty, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be in Moscow tomorrow. <laughs> Unless I get kidnapped or something. I'm not going to be in Moscow tomorrow, so I don't have to worry about not have, being able to speak Russian. It's all right. I can remain ignorant of that. It's not a problem. Being ignorant of what's going on in this planet right now and how we got here and any reasonable solutions is unacceptable because we have to figure something out. Things aren't going good. The reason why I say it's unacceptable is because the information's available. Our phones have everything on them. Don't even need a laptop. Our parents were programmed to believe certain things. Subsequently, we were as well, um, basically in the first seven years. <clears throat> this is just a fact. The Jesuits even talk about it. Give us a child for seven years. We'll show you the man. We'll deal with the public education, not, not education system, shortly. A large part of the programming was getting the kids to believe the government in government, most parents obviously, you know, you know, liberal, democrat, you know, Republican, conservative, whatever, 
they got to vote Republican, got to vote Democrat. <clears throat> and their parents' uh, chosen religion, whatever that might have been, they didn't, they, they didn't, they just, they were programmed this way, so they taught us the same thing. You had to go to a library to get real information, you had to go into the books and really spend a lot of time, which, you know, not many people were going to do. Um, I'm not making excuses for our parents, but we were programmed. So there was a few people in the, throughout the centuries, 18th, 16th, all the way through the centuries, but especially in the uh, 18th, 19th, 20th century, who saw through the bullshit and realized things were really bad and that these bad people were doing bad things. Um, most of them were drowned out pretty, pretty quickly. They were on to something. So the, they were on to some facts about just individual freedom or sovereignty, whatever it might be. Um, I've had a, a person who is one of my mentors, someone said to him, a young girl said to him, she didn't want anybody to, she didn't want to think for herself. She wanted to have everyone else do, someone else do her thinking for her. 19 year old girl saying that she doesn't want to think. Well, that person is saying they want to be a slave. I mean, let's face it, that's what that person just said. I don't want to think, therefore I want to be a slave. That's hard, it's terrifying to me. Control of one being, human being, or a group of human beings over another individual or group is not natural. It can only happen through violence and submission. Usually violence comes first and then submission. This is a violation of natural law, God's law, creator's law, karmic law, whatever you want to call it. In order to control large numbers of people, very large percentage of this group must be poorly educated. They must not know, understand their freedom, their sovereignty, what it really means as human beings. They must be taught to believe in systems, belief systems, religion, savior figures, uh, government authority, which is illusory, it doesn't exist. Anything is taught in order to externalize hope, energies, salvation, wants, whatever. Hence, believe in government is religion. Your power doesn't lie in anything outside of you. It lies within you. It's your knowledge and acting upon it and acting properly as a member of this society, the human race, of being on this planet because you have that knowledge acting properly because you have it. Knowledge and belief are two diametrically opposed things. A religion is a belief system, so is government. Therefore, government is a religion. However, when an entity such as government starts harming people who don't believe in it or who break its so-called rules or laws, then it's a cult. Government is a cult. That's what government is. It's a cult. All government is evil, all government is a form of slavery. This is because the idea of government is that one can delegate a right which one does not possess. If I had a jet fighter or a jet bomber, do I have the right to bomb Iraq? They haven't attacked the United States. Last time I checked, Iraq never attacked the United States. Correct me if I'm wrong, I think my history is pretty accurate on that. Iraq never attacked the United States. Do I have a right to fly my jet bomber that I own because I'm a rich dude and I have bombs, whatever? Do I have a right to bomb another country? No. But, be, but I can delegate that right to my government to go bomb people? No. I don't have that right. I don't have a right to kill people like that that haven't attacked me. So my government doesn't either because the whole thing's illegitimate. I can't delegate that right to government. It's, it's nonsense. That's ignorance. The idea that one can delegate a right to another group of people or person that one doesn't have is nonsense. It's bullshit. 
communism is the worst form of government. All government is bad. All government is slavery. Communism is the worst. Um, it would have, you know, obvious central control of a few people over millions or billions of people. Um, no form of government or major religion promotes true freedom, and communism is the act, exact opposite, right? So what we know of communism, it was started by Robert Owen, a British manufacturer, he started publishing his work in 1813. It's a pretty long time ago, well before uh, Marx and Lenin, obviously. He came to America in the early 1800s, 1825. He established a commune in Indiana that was failed very quickly. He blamed this commune, this communist commune's failure on uh, the people were educated in the Western capitalist system, and then we brought them into the commune so they weren't kind of indoctrinated at a young age. And then we go back to the seven years programming period again. Um, they weren't indoctrinated early enough to take to communism. So ultimately, the U.S. education system was formed by the Owenites, the communists, and the Unitarian anti-Calvinists and the Protestant anti-Catholics, they formed the so-called U.S. public education system, which is nothing more than a mind control training program designed to spit out compliant workers, taxpayers, soldiers, um, who do not think for themselves because they believe the media and the government, whatever they say, their pastor or whoever tells them what to think, they believe it. This has obviously worked with quite a number of people. There are some, myself included, who figured out that that wasn't correct, wasn't proper. You hear a lot of people talking about rights. Right this, I have a right to that, I'm th this right, that right. Everyone talks about rights and people don't even know what a right is. They have no clue what they're talking about. I have a right to do this, I have a right to do that. The only grantor, the only entity that grants rights is the creator of the universe. God, whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm not religious, so I don't go into the Allah or the Jesus thing, but God, Creator. And literally, a right is something which doesn't harm another being. Um, if you do something that harms another being, you don't have the right to do it. If I do something that harms another sentient being, you know, being that can feel pain, fear, and anxiety, mostly pain and suffering, that would be animals. That includes meat eating. What can I say? You, in, you in, indulge in the pro, pro, practice of carnism, eating meat, eating animals, you're committing a wrong act. Sorry. The action you're partaking in causes harm or suffering, you shouldn't be doing it. The current installed mumbling, stumbling puppet in chief said the other day that the Second Amendment is not an absolute right which people began arguing about, which shows their ignorance. The Second Amendment isn't a right, it's a man-written declaration within what is unfortunately called the Bill of Rights, which of course man can uh, 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 create, which literally states that the citizens of the nation have the right to keep and carry weapons. The right, the right that they're referring to is a God-given right to self-defense against any aggressor whether they wear government uniforms or not. Brandon, you know that. My solution? Most people need to do what they don't want to do. They want to, they got to step outside their comfort zone. They got to become one of the people that defies their age and says, no, what we're doing is wrong. It gets lonely, believe me. Everything you were taught was bullshit. 
We were lied to from the time we were old enough to listen, and that was in the womb. This is a big step. I had had to suffer trauma. I had to go through a lot of uh, processes and be exposed to some things. Luckily, while I was going through trauma at one point, but I always had an inner sense that stuff was wrong. That's why I got out of the Catholic thing at 13, told my parents, I'm done with, done with your Catholic thing. You have to get rid of all the belief systems. Republican, no. Democrat, no. Christian, no. Islam, no. None of it. <coughs> They're all wrong. Government is Ill illegitimate. Your religion's not better than any other ones. They're all asked to be called the big three are all asked for theological man-made control systems. And you can see my presentation, the, the modern Christian deception on that. If you no longer participate in the uh, practice of carnism, consuming animals, good. That's a big step. It's very difficult. Um, I'm going to do a thing on that within a day or two. If you're actually aware spiritually, you cannot partake in this practice for harming ascension being is wrong, period, unless in self-defense. Our Creator will not allow peace on this planet among humans unless and until they stop eating his, its precious animals. Leo Tolstoy said, as long as there are slaughterhouses, there will be battlefields. Simply put, if humans continue to kill and eat animals, they will continue to kill each other, period. And worse. You can go to human restaurants now. I believe in Los Angeles you can go to human meat restaurants. I know you can buy human meat in many countries now and consume humans, which heck, it's not that far of a stretch to me at this point in my evolution. Once you're free from the chains of these belief systems, religion, government, etc., you are truly a sovereign soul and being. You're free. You don't believe in anything. You believe in yourself. You believe that you're a created sovereign. You know that you're not going to harm anybody else unless it's in self-defense, so you're good. You understand that you now your own ruler, you call the shots, and you take responsibility for the results of your actions and, and thoughts and words, period. You take, results for the, for, take responsibility for the res, results of your actions, thoughts, and words. End of story. Our creator intended us for do no harm. But to defend ourselves and our families and our castle, you know now, if you did not know before, that abortion is a violation of God's law, of nature's law. It can't be anything else. As for me, another wonderful product of, well, I got away from TV before I got totally clean of this nonsense, but along the way I got rid of television. It's great. It's wonderful. It's a lonely place. People don't like hearing they can't eat meat. People don't like hearing that their religion is not good. People don't like hearing that their government, their party isn't right, that the, the government's wrong. You can't stay in those systems and fix what's going on. Those systems have been in place for thousands of years since the beginning of man almost. Man has put man above man in the form of government and created religion to control people. And religion and government is nothing but kill. And yes, they control. It's called slavery. The reason the channel is called Breaking the Chains is because this is slavery. Ignorance is no excuse anymore. The information's out there. You don't belong to Joe Biden, Donald Trump, the Pope, whoever's in charge of Islam or modern Judaism. Just, you don't belong to them. You're not, they're not your master. And you don't need them. You need to do a moral life, live a moral life by example, do good things and live a moral life yourself and this world will take care of itself eventually. If everybody starts doing the right thing, ignorance is no excuse. The information's out there. It takes two seconds to find it. 
Have a wonderful day.